WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a little bit of a mixed bag out there. That's the same mix from yesterday. No, maybe not. It's the trannies that are up, uh, trading to the upside up one three tenths percent, 176 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside. Now, the Dow's off 92 points, S&P 16, NASDAQ 176. That's three tenths, four tenths, and seven tenths were set to the downside. Basically flat inside the Russell 2000. She's trading out at 1788. Gold is not flat. It's down 18 bucks. Well, off its no, it's off its session lows. Trade now at 1632. Silver's off 20 cents. Trade at 1939. Lights we crude back a buck 47. 88.52 is the print there. Natural gas is off 15 cents, and the 30-year Treasury down 17 ticks. 120.06 is where she's printing. But let's go take a look at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini. What do we know about the ES Mini? Well, one, it has uh, traded down into a support level. That support level being the center of its weekly profile. The center, 3703.90. The low so far today, 3704 and a quarter. Price also trading into the bullish structured area of its daily profile. And that's between the range of 3667 and 3743. So one of the things that you and I can say as of 1101 in the morning is that the ES Mini has pulled back and has tested a key level of support. And thus far, that has held. Spot volatility still remains below its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts the fuel behind the uh, bulls, at least at this moment in time. If you take a look at the NQ, what did the NQ do? It pulled all the way back, tested and rejected a level that has tested and rejected uh, about three or four times so far in the last couple of weeks. And that is the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at the level of 10.734. So it, too, is doing nothing more than consolidating between 10.734 and 11, uh, 220, uh, sorry, 11 6.32 out there. That's the consolidation range. U.S. dollar index had a nice move earlier, had a decent move yesterday. It does have some trend line and profile resistance. That's up at the 113.38 level. Goldilocks testing the support area of both its Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, that's at 1622, and it's TD9 count support level, 1627. So as of 1102, has not been able to bust through key levels of support. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, please have a terrific one. And join me again tomorrow at 11 o'clock sharp. We'll be recording the show at the normal time. Have a terrific Thursday. We'll look forward to seeing you on Fantastic Friday. Take care.